Hello and welcome back to Channel Codex. This is your host Afzal and today we are going to cover part 2 of this application. In last video, we created this beautiful design. So make sure to check that if you haven't already. Let's get started. First of all, we will wrap our planet view, which is a stack, into inkwell so that we get on tap gesture and nice material effect. Inside that, we will use page route builder as custom navigation builder. Let's create a detail page real quick. And we'll also declare a field to hold the planet information, which we will be passing from home page. If you want to know more about page route builder, click on the card above or check link in the description below where I have explained custom navigation over material navigation. Fine. Now we will call detail page from here with the parameter as selected planet let's start designing the detail page it's a very simple page if you know how to play with the stack and list We are going to copy all the labels from Adobe XD. Thanks to the plugin, it makes life simpler. Make sure you check Adobe XD to Flutter conversion tool. It's very effective to achieve design quickly. But at the same time, don't make mistake of generating entire page from XD. It will give you all transform widgets and it's not at all production ready yet. What you can do is copy bit by bit like label containers buttons something like that simple and customize it yourself just like here i don't want this label to be inside a scrollable widget so i can customize the code generated by xd and use only label with my own style simple isn't it Let's just update the value of description from our planet info. It's always a good practice to check for the null value in text widget because sometimes it may happen that you get null data and it will throw exception. Now we will customize some of the properties on text and bam, it started looking pretty. Here you can implement a read more feature as well if you want to expand the details. Write down in the comment section below if you want me to explain how that is done in future videos. So now we will cover the tricky part of this page. Although it's just a simple list, but many of us don't know how to achieve it. So for that, first we will create a list view with an item builder. And let's return empty card as of now. Because our list is going to be horizontal, I'm going to give it a height and wrap everything inside a scrollable widget. So now our page becomes a scrollable. Inside our card, we will add an image widget to show gallery images. And to make this work, we need to provide item count to the list view, which is our image list from planet information. I think this planet doesn't have list of images. Let me switch it to earth real quick. Okay, here it is. You can see the list is scrolling in the vertical direction. Let's change it to the horizontal. Fine. 
we can see that all images are of different size. Let's fix that by applying aspect ratio with value 1 to the image. Now we are getting letter spacing in the card. To fix that, we will apply image fit property to cover the box. So basically it will cover the entire box. Image may get cropped, but it will fill the box. That's what we wanted. Now to make this card rounded, we can provide custom shape and add roundness property to that. And also we'll have to specify a clip property so that it clips on the custom path and it's done. Simple, right? Now we'll apply just a little bit of padding and alignment here and there and we will move to the last part of this video which is animating planet from home page to detail page. Let's add an image for the planet and position it to the right of the screen. And for the planet number, we'll add one more widget from our design. Let's change the style and update the value of planet position. Similarly, we will position it by specifying top, left, bottom, right properties. You can apply any property to adjust the position. And to navigate back to the home page, we will add one more widget, which is an icon button. One final thing we will do is animate the image from home page to the detail page so that it looks nice and dynamic. We can do that with the help of a hero widget. To know more about hero animation, check out my hero animation tutorial on the card above or link in the description below. That's it. We have our minimal design ready. It looks just beautiful and simple. Make sure to subscribe the channel for more such tutorials. Give it a thumbs up and write down in the comment section how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.